not, uh, oh shit. Look at this intro, look at this fantastic intro chat. <laughs> Elder World Supernova Part 15, I'm tired of shit. I think it's the same thing as episode like 13 or 14, I was so exhausted when I made that. Well, here we go, round three of that, or four of that, or whatever we're at at this point, where I'm falling asleep trying to make an episode of Elder Worlds, but welcome to Elder Worlds Supernova Part 15. Today, we're going to go visit the Iconoclast. I know that one. I figured that one out before we uh, officially recording started. But chat has been here a while. We've been hanging out, sorting my inventory, just chilling. Um, that's all. We're going to go visit the Iconoclast, see what happens. Um, we need to speak to them. We need to gain their missions. We need to gain, eat them to gain their strength. Um, Kappa. <laughs> All I do know is I'm tired. Um, I don't remember where we are, Fallbrook, so I don't think we're far from the Iconoclast. I think we can just walk over to them. I'm going to bring our companions, Yoka and Boy there. Oh god, that was terrible. You guys didn't want to hear that. <laughs> the game all load in here. I end up with terrible textures, so I have it set to load faster. So I end up with like 280p textures for like 30 seconds sometimes. Oh. Uh, but how you guys doing? Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, this episode comes out today. It is the 28th? 28th? 28th of December. This comes out... I'm gonna upload it the minute I'm done, basically. Uh, my internet's been a little terrible lately. I'm streaming. I haven't dropped frames yet today. At least I don't think. We just switched to 1080p and everything, so... I'm excited to stream what I'm playing. Well, it's, it's telling me to get issues, so we'll load back into Twitch Inspector in like an hour and check how many I had. Uh, if it's terrible, I won't just won't save the episode. Uh, I'm actually sorry if it's terrible. I, I'm basically warning you I might drop frames. Um... But I, I doubt it in frames. I don't think I will. It said I might, but... We don't usually have much internet issues here, so... It's usually quite... stable. <laughs> Twice, three times a year I have days where I literally can't stream because it's that bad, but... It's usually when my internet company is actually fixing their internet, so, you know, it's whatever, I guess. Hooligan, lookout. Hooligan, bruh, two dogs. He has a powerful gun. Oh. Gas is go. Cosmos, kick. All right, who else do I want to use one of these on? Ah. I am a storm. Am a storm. She says excited. Yeah, we're good, Felix. <laughs> Watch out! Oh no! I wasn't. I was AFK running. Now we're okay. I should actually mention that when, I, when we weren't actually like, recording, and we were just like... Um, chat was here, but we were just streaming. Like, me doing my inventory management, because I was just... Warming up my voice, really? Like, like actually, actually what's happening. Just They'll take a toe off. 
Um, I tinkered my guns a little bit more. Tinkered my companion's guns and armor a bit. Spent basically all my money. We're back to having... I spent like 50000 on this Let's Play, 60000 already. And uh, I just want to point out that I feel like... They should have separate voice lines. That don't, they don't need to tell me twice, is what I'm saying. They both told me about that sulfur pit. They didn't need to do that. They just needed to... One of them needed to tell me. But like, there'd be a failsafe in this game about that, you know? Like... Stop companions from talking about the same thing over and over again, but no, apparently they just want to talk to about my toes and sulfur pits. But we made it, we're back to um, Amber Heights, where we'll now talk to the people here, uh, the Iconoclasts. Try to get some information from them, try to get conquests from them. I'll try as many as I can, I can't remember how many there is to pick up, but... Oh, piss off. Open a monster. And it sprayed all over my monitor. <laughs> uh, hold on, chat. I won't be spending five minutes doing this. It'll just be 30 seconds while I wipe monitor. Let me go. Alright, that's clean enough. I'll fucking actually clean it off later if I have to. I don't think I see many more little squirts there. We're good, chat. Welcome to uh, f fucking what do you call this place? Amber Heights, right? I was like, Iconoclasts have guards all about. There's Pose, Rose, Rose, Revolutionaries, Ronson, the guy that. Board's jingle is like really fucking boring. Let's go talk to Graham. He is the most important right. of everybody here. How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a manticore. You'd rather sit on your thumb Both are and correct. starve? No. All I'm saying is she gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. Queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hopefully I didn't interrupt that dialogue by trying to fix my face cam. stranger camera. comes to our home. If you're looking Friends for of theirs never showed walk, up. You've found one. Ben if you're looking for call. a teacher, I am one. <laughs> Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. 
Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? Rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. Doing wasting bits on... Ugh, forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Wonderful. While you're... I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, Got I'll be it. in triage. What's up, chat? Up in your face for a second. Fixing my uh, damn clothing that's falling off my body because it's uh, getting too big for me now. I'll have to buy more eventually. Whatever. I mean, it fills, fits on my body and I can wear it on stream and not look naked, so that's probably a good thing. So. Although naked would be fun. I wish I could stream like that, you know, like... In an actual perfect world, hopefully I pause long enough for some people to read that or, like, pause and read it. In a perfect world, I'd love to be able to stream everything I do. Just, like... Always have her. Found the spleen, chat. Oh, do I want to go around? I don't want to search their camp for a little while. You know? Kinda. It says I'm not lagging on Twitch Inspector. I won't bother checking it anymore. If it does happen at the end of the episode, I'm fucking. I'm so sorry, chat. But. It seems like there's nothing wrong right now, so. And if it did lag earlier, it's because I was fixing face cam. That is a thing that happens. When I'm fixing the face cam, it, like, completely. It, it's not even actual lag. It's not the internet. It's literally my, uh, my system, like, reconnecting to a bunch of things. So it's, like, taking a second. It drops some frames. I'm on Overwatch, it's a pain, because it drops frames. Like, I actually drop frames on Overwatch for a second or two. Really un But, things I deal with just to stream for you guys, it's okay. Totally worth it in the end. I hear you. Just a rioter. Should theoretically take that card mine just to break it down if I don't actually use it. Oh my, that hurt. Have I not been up here yet? I just swore this was the same building they were in. Oh no, I haven't been up here yet. Special dead eyes somewhere, and I don't actually remember where it is. I actually, I don't know if we'll get it. Well, I don't know if we'll get it this episode, but I do want it before the end of the last place. It's good. I've never used it, but I, I've heard it's good. I should say I don't actually know if it's good. I've heard it's good though. Uh, 
A trash cube. Yeah, look at him. He just keeps making them. It's fucking weird, Carl. I don't think he can hear you. He's in the zone. Trash cube zone. Making trash Got cubes. They're convenient. Fit together real nice. Trash is trash. I don't care what shape it's in. I guess. They're both right. <laughs> it was a great conversation. I never heard that one yet. Uh, we'll move on for now. I don't really want to fix their steam pipes. I think I'm trying to think of what quests you can do here, and there's like fixing their steam. I think there's one you can pick up from Bronson, though. Let's pick that up, maybe. So tell me, what do you eat when you're out exploring? It's trail rations, right? No, that stuff will turn your stomach per. What? <sighs> trail rations. Rizos makes them with extra sisty bits. You ought to try something without so many additives. Something pure. Vodka comes to mind. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse, outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. I ought to tell you, most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. He ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Is that marked as a task? Odd jobs, yeah, okay. Going to odd jobs, I think. On the move. I'm not gonna read these, I'm just trying to like. I don't have engineering or hack 55, right? Like, I'm nowhere near it is what I'm getting at. Like, I clearly know I don't have any right now, but am I anywhere near it? Play. There is a way onto this roof, I just don't remember what it is. I genuinely can't remember how to get up here, chat. Base cam? Oh, fun. We'll fix it in a minute. All I'm doing is jumping around on boxes. I guess we're not doing odd jobs because I don't remember how to get up onto the odd jobs. I guess I'll try over here, right? You know, maybe there's actually a ledge I can use. Yeah, I can just walk up here. How oh, must you? Bruh. I ran right past all those before. Like, I've actually ran past those pipes before, and I don't know why they didn't hurt me. So, why was I allowed to... Was there not another one? So I actually did one of those by accident earlier. I hit a switch earlier in the game. I think I said I don't know what this does. Remember that chat? I think I, I hit a switch like two episodes ago or an episode ago. 
So there's only one more switch. Fixing face cam. This is today's episode? It is. So if you're looking to avoid spoilers, I'd just wait. It'll be up tonight. 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 9 p.m., those times, you guys know. My upload schedule's a little off lately. Because I missed a day one day, like, months ago, a couple months ago. I missed a day, and then I just started uploading, like, late. Before bed. I could go back to a schedule, people prefer... Genuinely feel free to comment if you prefer a schedule. I'm actually I'm not kidding, I don't care, I'll do one. And there's not many people I make videos for right now, so I mean if you have a schedule that you'd like me to upload on, I just simply choose to upload on that schedule. Oh, I want to use my ability on him. Moving. You want some of this? To shreds, you say? Search destroyed. Easy Collaborino. I was fixing face game at the end of Fire Lightning again. It'll happen a couple more times, I'm betting, so get raised to it for a minute. Yes, yeah, so this switch right here. This isn't okay, well, to be fair it worked this time, so. For now, let's not return to Bronson. I feel like I should just well. Where's yeah, this is just over here. So we'll just uh We'll just stay out for a bit and go do this next uh, option. I wonder what this is for. Is that a sublight shortcut? It's a sublight shortcut, isn't it? Well, I don't know if that makes any sense. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to be really picky here for a second. Where does that actually go? Because your options are... Here's free ammo, I guess. Your bullet, money, I guess. Um, your options are to the other side or underground. I guess you could theoretically tell me they go underground. But you're going to tell me they... The corporations decided not to build roads. Like they failed to build half the roads, and like they got they ran out of money and shit. But somehow, someone, I guess Sublight could have more money, right? But still, decided they needed to build actual underground tunnel networks that go all the way across the entire area. Like, like no, that that I'm sorry, that just doesn't follow with me. Hey, I know you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But uh, we got this handled. We. Appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to sod off. Huh. 
I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. I'll we'll try. We robbed this place blind because they don't care. We're looking at things while spamming the loot button. That's basically what's happening. I think the special dead eye is on and then you didn't finish your sentence chat <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll eventually that's a really late answer by the way Byzantium okay really late answer for that one there chat but thank you I think you are correct as well by the way that sounds like it checks out to me I should really check every vendor for like maybe a weapon sometimes. I really should just like check. I should just hold that solid drum too right now. I knew that. Now what did I want to do? I do need to buy more Adreno, by the way. Like And this uh, vendor doesn't even have it, so that's great. Well, right, what is this, anyways? Tobacco corn, okay. Well, like three of those. Water's good. I mean, it's. Oh, I may not ever even need those at the Let's Play, but I mean, I might as well grab them quickly just in case I do. Loot this last little building quickly before we leave. Might take me a second. I'm not going to raise my skill, because it's going to take more than three mag picks. And that generator, all that does, if I recall, uh, the terminal, I some gas that poisons me to death. If I try to run past it. Oh, it is a sublight shortcut. Although that's... That's just game design laziness, actually, is what that is. <laughs> yeah, I just, that's just not to expose this game or anything, but that's just, just laziness is what that is. Instead of making them walk, like in Fallout, for example, and a lot of games, not just an example, you 
let your father, for example, is the is the is the closest one I can instantly think of. Walk across the whole map. He's invincible when he does it, but he his your his your father will walk across the whole Fallout 3 map, or most of it at least, and end up at his location, uh, Trinity Lane, Trinity Lane, right? And um, he walks there. You can follow him. And same with the uh, like NCR in New Vegas. They'll like walk across the whole map, and you can follow them around when they do it. This time in the other worlds, these guys walked about 30 feet, got inside of a teleporter, and teleported away forever. That was good game design. In a way, in its own way, like it keeps the game from lagging and dropping frames and keeps the game running stable. Like there's reasons to do that. It's not like it was wrong or. But then you can also argue the case I just did and say they probably have the capacity to run the game and, considering Fallout could do it, and have them, you know, walk across the map and it'd be all fancy like that, so I don't know, you know, you make your own decisions on if that was better or laziness or what. I think it was just straight up, eh, I don't want to code them. They'll teleport, that's fine. And it works, so I mean... Did you really easily complain? No, not really. We have two quests to go turn in. Can you not, game? I was running into an invisible wall there. I'm gonna hit this loaded screen. I'm gonna mute for a second because my ear's itchy and I'm gonna itch it. I don't wanna like beat my headset around causing static. I know it was a really weird thing to warn you guys about, but I felt the need to do it. Um This episode should be about 50 to an hour, like usual. Like the usual episode lengths. We'll just do an hour or so. So I'll probably turn these in and then see what we have to do next and then pre consider either doing it or jumping and going somewhere else or something like that. Remember, our genuine objective is to get the Iconoclast to stop transmitting. So really, the quicker we do, at least, at least get their um, printing press going, they'll shut up. So... No, no more argument. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important. Ah, we'll continue this later. Ah, oh, the printing press. Welcome back, then. Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Yes? Our very resourceful sublight friends have already agreed to help. For their standard fee, of course. They'll replace periodicals around the colony with our subtly edited versions. The board's workers will learn of our truth without even realizing it. Certainly. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? 
I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'm considering either um stealth and defense, just five more of each. I go tech. I mean, I've been using a lot of it. Screw it. We'll just dump some into tech. I can always respec, which I hate. I actually hate that this is a thing in this game that you can respec, but you can just respec. So it's really not the end of the world if you pick a bad. Doesn't even matter what you pick. If you get bored, you can just throw everything into one thing and then, like. It's also a good thing, like. It's 50 50. It's a good thing and it's also a bad thing. I don't think it takes away from any difficulty. This game is so easy. It's got, like, easy and then artificially difficult. That's how the only. There's, there's no in between. It's not like an actual. There's not usually even fights that are hard. It's either they're too hard because the, the enemy's health is just, like, too high. Like, it's not even difficult. They're just too much health. And the other version is where they just get one shot, so <laughs> like there's too many options in my opinion, and too many easy ways to get kills. It's okay, I mean It's not the end of the world. But that's what I mean, like we found us at us supernova a little bit difficult at the beginning, I did at least. Only because you're so weak. Like, you can't do anything. And your companions get killed. Like, I wasn't dying as often. If I just went companionless, I would have been fine. But that's artificial difficulty. Like, you don't actually... It's not your fault you're dying or losing. It's the companions. And that's... Poor game design. But always has been. Halo 5 suffers from that hugely. Uh, I say Halo 5. All Halos genuinely suffer from that. Because all increasing the difficulty does is increase the enemy's health. All it actually does. Literally all it does is increase their health. That's it. There is zero difference in gameplay. Zero difference in gameplay. Um, I actually think in the older ones, they kind of run away more often on easy and like normal. Although I never really played on those difficulties. Not often. A couple times just for the sake of like... Um, doing a mission for like a daily challenge or something like that. Because they never, they don't, they didn't always have uh... Difficulty like requirements, so I just did them. Like, speed run them. But I'm rambling, so... Right, you can't go this way. Although Olympus Lover's Point is very pretty, isn't it? <laughs> I did. Can I go up here, maybe? maybe not. No. Okay. <laughs> Worth a shot. So, do I this guy or? We'll just leave. Yeah. 
Now that was fun. You just watched me kill two people. That was it. I didn't know you could consider that fun. What do you mean? Sometimes this game is either. I never felt like a fight was really good, like really close. Uh, oh, a couple, maybe just a couple. But it's usually when there's like 15 enemies and like one of you, but they're not all weak enemies, so they just barely almost kill you. It was three against seven or eight there, and they just all got one or two shot. Like it was just no in, no in between at all. Um, and then, because the, uh, these guys have an auto-mechanical, which is going to be a pain in the ass. I might even have to, like, aggro the auto-mechanical from far away. I feel like he's probably a pretty strong auto-mechanical. <laughs> Not interested in dying here. I'm going to find a way to just shoot at the mechanical, and maybe... I guess if he aggroes, his whole friends will, too, won't they? We just sneak past. Hopefully. Yes. Actually, I don't know about sneaking past, to be honest. Yeah, that's not looking like the, the plan here. Just far enough away for nobody to notice that. I'm just worried about fighting these guys. I feel like they're going to be stronger than the rest of them. I'm trying to get rid of everything I can so I can just concentrate all my abilities on one or two people. These guys will all know if I kill one, though. Yo. Wait, actually, no. Yeah, you want to come after me, you go ahead. That's okay. If you come after me alone, that's fine. I'll just put everything into you. Oh, I should actually mention... I'm using thunder, and it's tinkered, so this should actually destroy this mechanical. Sure. Never mind, that mechanical got absolutely dominated. What's shooting me? What's shooting me? Actually, what's shooting me? What are we struggling with? Please kill the tamed candids that are chewing on you, please. So hard to kick them forward. <laughs> I feel like we have a clear path to the. Yeah, the Van Oys are here. Nioka, you're a sight right now. I'll tell you what, we are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Uh, it ain't worth it. 
We ought to pull out. You keep spewing that uh. sulfur. I'm liable to leave you to the rafts. What my well-meaning idiot of a brother intends to say is, we appreciate the assist. Would that we could. We ain't leaving our men behind, and they ain't moving on their own. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. All right, I'm gonna find your medic. He's clown. Colossus, eh? Oh no, I just fucked up. Maybe they'll run away. That's not gonna work. We'll do, Captain. What was that? Who's there? I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, you can't damage them here. This is how glitchy this game is. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I can kill a couple of them right here. Hey, boss! Watch this! Try. Yeah, you can't damage them. They're actually invincible. Yeah, they're literally invincible. Yeah, they're invincible. That's bullshit, is what that is. I honestly feel like the best way to get these dead is to do them myself. I don't think I can have my companions with me. And I kind of want to go back to the ship and save. How far is it? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't want to end the episode yet, but I don't want to go in there and die and then have to do this all over again. That's like It's like a 50-50 issue, you know? And it's really quite far away, to be honest, if I wanted to, like... Well, I, I, it would be... Let's go take a peek inside, I guess. If I feel like I can get the Pentecost quest back up first by myself, then yes, we'll do that quickly. If I don't feel like I can, I don't remember how many enemies are in here. If I don't feel like I can, then I don't think we should. I don't think I can kill all those Raptodons with my companions. I think I have to do it myself. I have to keep cutting them away and then I keep killing them myself. <sighs> well, if I'm only one target when I'm by myself, I can move around and actually kite enemies and shoot back. Like, my companions... I mean, I've said this a million times, by the way, in this Let's Play. But companions will literally stand still and shoot at them and then get, and die, so... Seems to be a lot of raptor dogs in here. I don't think we can do this, to, to be honest. I think we have to end the episode. Mm -hmm. We should probably end the episode. I don't trust it. I don't want to... And the only reason I'm actually doing that is I don't want to die and uh, lose all our progress. It's 50 minutes of progress. It's not worth losing. Holy shit. If you want to pause and read some of this, good God, go ahead. But holy shit. 
we'll exit this, then we'll jump to the ship. So in like, in like two minutes, this episode's ending. Uh, no more, uh, nothing else to do. I don't want to risk everything and die. I don't want to die. Like, if I die or the companion dies, which I know if I go in there, one of our companions will die. Um, it's I'm screwed. This is why I wish we had fast travel. For the sake of like the let's play, I wish we had fast travel, because now I have I'd have to go to my ship, save, re you know, dump a bunch of stuff, and and then just run all the way back to the thing just to do it alone. And it would take me to like an hour and forty minutes of the episode. Like fuck that, dude. And I love that like artificial difficulty. Like I love that like when you're playing alone, but like for the sake of a let's play very obnoxious like really obnoxious that i have to do that just to you know save the game uh that's okay though uh in episode 16 we will take over the printing press and get the iconoclasts class to be quiet and that honestly means i think we'll end up in byzantinium byzantinium byzantium whatever you want to call it bounce pronunciations for it uh, by the end of next episode. I think we will. I th think we will. We just gotta figure out a good way to clear out the wraps. There's like hundreds of them, by the way. Holy shit. There's like 10 of them outside and like 15 of them inside. There's like 40 Raptodons. It's actually quite a chunk of Raptodons. Are causing a disturbance on the ship. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the scorecard. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. In, uh... Part 16, where we will go get the printing press done. We'll probably end up on Byzantinium in the next episode or you the one after that. You consider changing your clothes more often. <laughs> really, bro? Are you actually kidding me right now? So I want to go get that new gun from my Centineum. Um, I want to try the gun. I want to try the new... There's like a special version of this gun. And I'd like to try it out. So I'll see you guys for that soon.